I see you still time, Daddy. <laughs> What's good? What the deal? Welcome back. As usual, I am here. It is your boy TB Stovetop. I am here to just talk to you and uh, tell you the shit that I like to look at. Uh, uh, please turn it off. I use excessive language. I'm very I'm proud of you. Let's give. Yo, we gotta give it a round of applause. You didn't curse like that this this episode. Like, yes. <sighs> I feel it though. You just suck my dick. Oh, come on. What? Um, probably not funny. Uh, I laugh at my own jokes, which is fucking stupid. But who gives a fuck? As long as I feel like I'm entertaining you, myself, somebody out in the goddamn world. Somewhere in the universe, somebody will find this shit funny. All right? Okay. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know how the fuck I did this shit today. Somehow it just doesn't look right. I feel darker on this side. A little bit lighter on this side. I'm here today. Uh, today is a very, very light day. Um, <clears throat> fix this camera. How you doing? I hey. uh, got the side camera. I don't know if you watched the last episode. The side camera went out on me. Y'all was niggas just looking at me straight up front. Anyway, um, today is such a very, very light episode. I just want to just keep it short, sweet, simple. Uh, nothing really, anything entertaining, entertaining that really like struck my head and then I thought that was just like, oh, wow, you know. Um, but, of course, you see little things here and there that, to me, in my in my own crazy freaking mind, I find it funny. And I feel like, fuck it, let me just do a video, see if you're entertained by it, too. If you find that shit funny, too, because I found it fucking hilarious, right? Okay, or very, very serious. Yeah, one or the other. Okay, first person... Or topic I want to talk about is Uncle Rick Ross. Yes, Uncle Rick Ross, I call him that. Why? Because he is definitely one of my favorite rappers. One of the uh, rappers that I feel like that is like somewhat timeless, right? Um, I saw a video and Uncle Ricky... Is out here tripping like he's having a motherfucking midlife fucking crisis. Uncle Ricky, what the hell are you doing? Time for some new music. I thought it was time for a new um, vibe. Yeah. Y'all see my you know what I'm saying? Y'all see my you know what I'm saying? NBA. You know what I'm talking about? Did my shit like, you know what I'm saying? I went to the finals on the Okay, so let's analyze that video really quick. Uh, God damn it, Ricky. Uh, sh can, I, can I screenshot that and put that to the side of me so we can just take a look at that? Okay, boom. All right. Um, so, Uncle Ricky got braids, right? Uh... I don't know how old Uncle Ricky is. Uncle Ricky probably like 40 some. I don't I don't knock anybody that want to get braids. But when it looks like shit like this, God damn it, Uncle Ricky. I don't understand it. Now, do me a favor. Pop up uh, the picture of Uncle Ricky without the braids. Uh, I thought he was Paul. I didn't know this nigga could grow any goddamn hair on the top of his goddamn head. And number one, I didn't know that it could grow fully to the extent that it did to where it just, the, the lining and everything is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Uncle Ricky, cut that goddamn hair off. Leave the fuck. He, you, you cannot have both. You're a greedy motherfucker. See, it just doesn't look right. A nigga with braids and a full beard? It, I don't know. It just... It, just doesn't seem right you gotta have one you gotta have a full fucking beard and have a fucking ball head or just have a fucking ball braids and a clean fucking shave it's uncle ricky what the fuck are you doing Nigga, please. but i ain't mad at you uh if i could grow braids i probably would have done it and uh yeah i ain't knocking you bro 
Um, next, I want to talk about. I don't. Should I even talk about this, dude? I don't even. Uh, hey, listen. Um, I'm open to everybody. I, I, let me stop lying because he, this nigga's on my playlist. I got like two or two or three songs that I actually like ride to, and I'd be like, oh shit. You know what I mean? I'd be bumping. Uh, I want to talk about Little Pump. Okay, before you ask me why am I talking about Little Pump, it's nothing really. I just felt like he made a statement, and I just, you know, I, I mean, I want to get like. I guess that's not my generation. I don't think he's my generation. So um, I just want to get like people's opinion on like, what the fuck do you think about this situation? Like, all right, look, look. Now, dead ass though, X is the two part of our generation. No cap. Do you think that Triple X, Tassian, was the two part of this generation? Um, me personally, I can definitely say, I mean, first of all, I want to say, uh, may he rest in peace, uh, God rest his soul, all that, you know what I mean? Um, that nobody should ever go like that. He had a family, um, RP to triple X, but on the other hand, um, do I think he was the Tupac of this generation? I don't think so. I don't think he put out enough body of work to sit down and say that he was considered the Tupac of this generation that's going on right now. There's so many different artists that's out right now. I got like people like um fucking YB and Cordae. Fuck. That kid is fucking amazing. That's a rapper, right? And then we don't even let, let's not even take it that far. Let's I if if YBN Melly, right? <laughs> think even if he hadn't made it into that situation that he did i think he could have been somebody great so what i'm trying to say is if you love the dude which clearly you do because you was crying for him which is definitely understandable recently but what i'm trying to say is that is your opinion and I hope you, I don't think, yeah, you did say, I don't know if you did say your opinion or not. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, that was just my uh, quick little thing. I just wanted y'all to, you know, kind of like answer that for me. Do you think, what do you think? Maybe I'm just jumping the gun. Maybe this isn't my generation. You, you'd be like, you stove top, shut the fuck up. He is the Tupac of our generation, you know. Uh, I don't fucking know. Um, yeah. I, well, yeah. Anyway, on to the next one. I want to talk about Jacquees. Okay, Jacquees. Am I saying his name properly? I don't fucking know. Anyway, I don't fucking care. It's crawling on my foot. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Jacquees. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Okay. So of course we know this motherfucker for being all over the fucking TV talking about TV, whatever, internet. All over these motherfuckers, claiming he is the R&B king. I just want to let everybody know that I'm the king of R&B right now for this generation. Right? You the R&B king. So that means you. you. All right. Let's. I'm moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. Okay. Um. Jacquees now, right? Of course, about last year he's talking about he's the. R&B king, understandable. You have to think like that to be in a business like, you know, in a music industry, right? Or whatever, any any job title or whatever you're doing, you have to feel that way. You have to say to yourself, yo, look, fucking shit, I am the best, right? No problem. So, recently I saw a video, and... The video has Jacquees and he's talking about, I guess, the BET Awards are coming up and he was not nominated. And take a look. Hold on. How in the fuck am I not nominated no, no, no. for a BET Award? Bro, how the fuck is that possible? Right? I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm with you. When it came out, I was like, dude. What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie, I feel disrespected at this point. Like, maybe I gotta work harder. But how hard you gotta work when you nominate niggas that don't even... Never mind. No. Okay, so, 
understand what I'm saying, right? Is you can't move like that, bro. You have to understand that in time, things will work for you. Keep talking that king shit. Keep doing that. You know what I mean? You find your way in, in, in on the internet some way, somehow. Keep doing that shit. Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! But, bro, you sitting down there trying to, like, like, like shade at the end. No good, bro. It's show, it show bad sportsmanship. So, let's try not to do that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, you know, you better than... No, nah, you're not. You, you, you look like a motherfucker that just don't... Yeah. Um, damn, bro. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know. I got I got bed in my head. And then that's... And then, you know, you got a couple of tracks that I probably, like... I would have to, like, honestly fucking, like, hear. And then... Anyway, that's neither here or there. Uh, Jacquees, do your thing, brother. Don't worry. You'll make it some way, somehow. Just not right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do them originals. Not teething. Anyway, I want to do this last. I, I think I like this doing this. Actually, my homeboy said this shit. Shout out to my boy Fat Pizzle. The nigga was like, "Yo," sent the video in group text. He was like, "Yo," hit me up privately. The nigga was like, "Yo," Facetime me. Nigga was like, Brr. "Yo," stove top. I'm like, "What up, bro?" The nigga was like, "Yo," you need to play this video for them. I said, "Holy shit!" I saw it already. I found it funny. I'm gonna do it. Check this shit out. Oh, by the way, this is <clears throat> this is me uh, when I was a child. This is the home video of me. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, you see that shit? Yo, get the fuck out of here. That little nigga wild the fuck out. A little nigga after my own heart. I mean, I I mean, listen. I'm a parent too. I, I'm a I, I'm a whoop his ass, but god damn it, that shit is funny as fuck. You can't tell me that shit ain't funny. Yo, this nigga's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. This nigga was tight. He didn't want that teacher to talk shit. But um, it ain't right. Don't teach your kids that. Uh, it ain't right. Don't do that. Um, you shouldn't be out here teaching your kids how to curse. <laughs> so I'm put. Oh, excuse me. Shit. Yeah. Um. So I am out of here, man. You know. Uh, on that note, uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Right, like, comment, subscribe. Remember to thumb it up. Yeah, put that thumbs up. Make sure you hit it. Hit that bell too. You know what I'm saying? Bing. Hit that bell. Bing. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know what I mean. Come on, get, get to that channel, man. Subscribe so you know. Like, I mean, come on. I ain't funny. I ain't all that. I mean, shit. I'm here. I just talk a lot. I'm that. I'm, I'm that friend. I'm your friend. That just talks this is here right talking too much you like you talk too much nigga that's me anyway i'm out of here thank y'all for coming back hope to see y'all some bitches again i'm okay i'm about to hold on me see this. oh i was gonna nah, you know what i was gonna talk about it i heard uh nikki's track god damn it yo i i, I like it she she's she coming back to our roots anyway i'm out of here I'll talk about that another fucking time, man. When, or when the track come out, we'll talk about it, all right? All right, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to Peace. All right, no, 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 no. Because I keep doing that. I'm not going to say what I say. Bye. Like, I am a god. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. I just told you. That's who I think I am.